Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make keto pancakes. These are super delicious, super easy to make, and um, super good for you. So we will show you how to do it. It's just a few steps, and you're going to have some yummy pancakes. All right, here we go. All right, you're going to start with about four ounces of cream cheese or half a cup. Um, you want to melt that a little bit so it's soft. Then you're going to add four um, large eggs, medium to large eggs. Mine were probably on the more large side. Um, add those in and then you are going to, you pretty much just add all your ingredients and then mix it together. So add in your eggs. And then you're going to add a half a cup of almond flour. Um, now, when I did this the first time, I ended up adding a little more almond flour to make my pancakes, to make the um, mixture a little thicker. Um, it just depends on how thin you want your pancakes. If you like them really thin and crispy, add less. If you want them a little thicker, add more almond flour. Then I always, I love cinnamon and everything. So of course I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon, like a teaspoon. And to give it a little sweet flavor, I add in a little bit of liquid stevia, probably about another teaspoon of that. And then all you do is you blend it together. Um, I probably should have used a bigger bowl because I made a mess everywhere, but it's okay, it worked out. Um, so anyway, you just use a hand mixer or you can even put it into a blender and blend it all up and uh, until it's all, you don't have any lumps or anything in the mixture. And um, there you go. I made a total mess. And <laughs> oh well, it can be cleaned. Okay, so there you go. So then you wanna pour the batter into a nice hot pan. Make sure you put your setting on high, get your pan nice and hot. And uh, once you see it kinda steaming a little bit, then add in, um, you wanna make smaller pancakes, like, I don't know what you see in the picture there. Um, not super big. Um, so you want to make sure that you spray your hot pan with Pam or nonstick spray so your pancakes don't stick and you just repeat the process. Once you see your pancake starting to bubble in the middle, that's when you know it's time to um, flip it over. Um, if you're, you know, a professional, you could try to flip it without like a spatula or anything. Um, I had a couple failed attempts so I decided to go with my spatula. So there you go. Pretty easy. This makes about between eight to 12 pancakes and they're delicious. Here's a picture of them when you're all done. Add some whipped cream, some blueberries, find some sugar-free syrup, and there you go, some keto pancakes. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I'll see you guys at the next video. Bye.